Muy buenas tardes. Good afternoon, everyone. It's really a pleasure to welcome to Real Madrid Lucas Silva. First of all, in the name of the president and the board of directors of the Real Madrid football team, I would like to thank the president of the Cruzeiro football team in Brazil for all the help they have given us to reach this agreement. Dear Lucas, as you may have seen, our fans have showed you their love. Some of them are fellow nationals of yours. And as the president advanced, you will always have his aff their affection, but they will expect you to do your best. You're a great player. We really trust you. But as the president mentioned, there's a lot of demand here. Also because, as history has shown, we have a great heritage but at the same time, they will ask for the best out of you. But we're also sure that we're just starting a new stage in your career. And all of us in this club are really excited about your arrival. We wish you the best for the future, and we want you to know that it is a great pleasure to have you here with us. Good luck and welcome. Thank you. We start the press conference next, and we have one question per round and please remember to identify yourselves with the name of the company you represent. Hi Lucas, Alex Rodriguez from Spanish TV. Welcome, please define yourself as a football player and choose which are your advantages and qualities and which ones are up best for Carlo Ancelotti's team. Well, I think that I'm a very technical player. And I always play well in the middle of the field. I manage the ball well. I do good long passes. And I always try to keep a good balance in the middle of the field. Hi, Lucas. Juan Ignacio García Ochoa from the Marca Sports Newspaper. Today you met Florentino Perez personally. I would like to know what you thought of him and which advice did he give you? This is the first time I talked to him and he welcomed me. He welcomed me. He received me. He welcomed me very well. And I got a very strong sense of trust from the very beginning. I felt that he trusted me. And what I need to do next is to give that back to him. I need to do my best so that I can gain his trust and his affection. Hi, Lucas. I'm Miguel Angel Dia from Cadena Cope. In Cruzeiro, you were doing the preseason. I would like to know how are you doing, physically speaking? And when do you think that you could be willing to debut with the coach, with the Real Madrid? Yes, in fact, I've done a week in the Cruzeiro preseason. I did a lot of physical work also with the ball. And I actually feel ready. more than 80% physically speaking. Now I'm, I'm actually going to train today. I'm going to do my training this afternoon with my colleagues. And I want to be with them as soon as possible to adapt well and be available for the coach. Hi, I'm right here. Javier arrived from Cadena Ser. Please be welcome. I would like to ask you about your defense midfielder position, which is the position you're showing of Tony Cross 
who is having a great performance at Real Madrid. Do you feel scared or excited by that? Would you like to play with him? How do you see that? Yes, it would be a great pleasure, actually, to be with good players in the Real Madrid, both and especially in the midfield, such as Tony Cross. It's a great pleasure. I've been dreaming of being in the Real Madrid because there is a high level of play here. But this makes me feel even more responsible and more trusting to follow his steps and maybe play alongside with him. Hi Lucas, I'm here, I'm speaking from a Brazil newspaper actually. And in your presentation you were saying that you played with the Real Madrid on video games and that you have been a fan of the Real Madrid for a long time. So which players from the past and the present times of the Real Madrid inspire you and are your idols? Yes, I have been following Real Madrid for a long time, both in the real play and in video games. And there are great players that have been in the Real Madrid who are nowadays present even. Brazilians, for example, who played here, who made history, such as Ronaldo, Roberto Carlos, Julio Batista. I actually played with him in Cruzeiro, also Kaká. And nowadays, all the players here represent Real Madrid really well. I'm coming with them to make history. Hi, Lucas, I'm from the Chiringuito. And you've been on the grass wearing the shirt you're seeing how it feels, but what do you actually feel by wearing this T-shirt? The T-shirt of the largest football club in the world. Well, I felt really good, actually. I must admit that I had frills and butterflies in my stomach when I was in the grass, when I saw the press and all the fans. This is very new for me, but as I mentioned earlier, I feel ready to be here. I can feel the atmosphere of the games and what's it going to be like. So I feel ready and willing to play. Lucas, I'm right here, Sergio Valentin from the radio. In Real Madrid, being a main player is very difficult, especially in your position. We have Yaramendi, Kedira, Kroos. You are in precision and you have greater skills. You're 21, but you do you feel like you... Would you like to be a, a main player in the short term, or is that, is that not one of your objectives? Yes, I would like to be one of the main players, of course. But I'll go step by step, and I hope that I will get there to help the club and also to learn. Step by step, as I have always done it through my career. And as I mentioned, I feel very well in the years I've been with Cruzeiro getting new championships and new titles and I will try to find my place little by little and hopefully I will get there. Hi, Jose Luis Sanchez from La Sexta. I would like to ask Emilio Butragueño if with the arrival of Lucas Silva the signings are closed for the Real Madrid or are still open? Well, as you know, when we have the presentation of a new player, in this case, Lucas Silva, out of respect for him, we do not deal with other issues or subjects. He's the main person here today, and we, should, we shouldn't talk about other issues. Thank you, anyway. Hi, I have a question for both of you, for Lucas and for Emilio, and I would like to ask Emilio why it was so important to bring Lucas Silva now. The team has Toni Kroos, Modric, Yaramendi, Isco, and even James in that position. And for Lucas, I'd like to ask him why it was so important for him to come here now, in January instead of June. And welcome to Spain, by the way. Well, on our hand, we thought that this was a very good opportunity for the Real Madrid. Things happened so that we could close the transaction, the transfer, and we think he's going to be a good player for us, and this is why he's here. As simple as that. Well, opportunities come, and I was kind of ready for this one. And as I mentioned earlier, I feel very ready, and very
very willing for joining Real Madrid and also for the future events. This is a dream come true and a new stage in my career that I hope to really enjoy. Hi, good morning. I have a question for Emilio, another one for Luca Silva. I know Emilio does not want to deal with other issues, but today there was a report by the FIFA regarding the transfer or the signing of underage foreign players in the teams with whom you have agreements in the region of Madrid. I would like you to talk about that. And Lucas, I would like to ask you whether there is something in your game that you think you need to change to adapt to European football. Please go ahead, Lucas. You can answer first. Well, I have not yet had enough contact with the coach to know what I need to change or adjust. But I do think that it might be just minor things. I play classical football the way I've always done it. And I love doing a good game and helping the team. Well, what you're mentioning is true. Today, Luca is the main star of the press conference. We shouldn't answer any other question, but if you will allow me, I will make an exception regarding this topic. First of all, we're totally, we totally agree with FIFA in this regard. Secondly, we have always collaborated and will keep collaborating with FIFA in anything they request. And thirdly, we have a lot of peace of mind with the way Real Madrid is doing things. Hi Emilio, for Diario As, I would like to know whether Lucas transfer has arrived and whether he will be able to play on Saturday. Well, I think that he's after this afternoon he will be playing. He will be available for Carlo, our coach. And then Carlo and Celotti, our coach, will decide when he's ready to play. should be able to play on Saturday, for sure. Lucas José Guado from La Razón newspaper. I would like to know whether you saw Real Madrid play this season and what did you think of their game? Yes, I've seen a few matches. I must admit that I haven't seen them all, but whenever I had time, I saw the team play. I think that they're playing really well and that they're actually the leader of the championship. They're still doing well, and I'm here to help them grow and to help. Hi, Lucas. I'm from the Adi Bernabeu. Welcome to Spain and to Madrid. First of all, we have seen you take pictures with 10 European cops. The person was showing them to you. And what do you feel at that time? Do you feel the grandeur of the club you're going to be representing next? Thank you. In fact, yes, I was able to feel the importance of each game, of each match, and even each championship. I was looking at the different cups and the different titles, and I was very excited to see them. And of course, I would like to help gain new titles and also to make a name for the club's history. Hi, I'm Lucas. I'm from Punto Pelota. Welcome to Madrid. Did you hear Ancelotti's statements saying that he would not open the signings period or the transfers period? And whether you were scared of the Real Madrid agreement being broken at some point? Yes. There were many things written about this topic on the press, but I, I was always quite calm because I had a contract with the Cruzeiro and kept playing, knowing that in order to be here one day, I needed to play well. Then I heard and saw the coach's statement, and I was still very calm because I knew that for a possible new negotiation and to be here, I need to do well in my club. So I went on holidays and I came back to my club for the pre-season. Things were going well. And 
the negotiations restarted, fortunately. Sergio for Babel. Lucas, I would like to ask you whether you have met any of your colleagues or whether you talked to any of the Brazilian players like Marzello or the others. And what did Ancelotti say when you arrived? I have not yet been able to talk to the players or to the coach. Many people are asking me about Marcello because he's Brazilian. And I've had a very good feedback, feedback about him. I'm looking forward to meeting him and I'm sure that he will help me adapt. Regarding the coach, I've seen some comments that were very useful for this season and that he will really enjoy my, my game. So I'm very happy and willing to help. Last two questions, please. Hi, Lucas. Please be welcome, Daniel Chanona from the Sports Newspaper in Mexico. Fer, James, and Chicharito, now yourself. What do you think about the European club's fever to sign Latin American footballers? Sometimes this is difficult to happen. What's your opinion on this topic? Well, I think that South American football is increasingly on the rise. There's a great competition, which makes all players have a high level, showing good football. And I think that European teams, of course, do know about that, and do know about everything that has been happening. And it is a pleasure to be with other great players. Last question. A question in Portuguese, Lucas. Was Real Madrid the only club interested in you, and were there other clubs interested in you? Well, there was a lot of talk about this, but in fact there were other clubs that were interested in myself. After having contact with Real Madrid, of course, my dream was already expressed, and everything came out quite right in the negotiations, and that's why I'm here. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.